In this video, tatalakayin natin ang forms of the verb be. Anna will be the leader of our group. Eric is in our group too. Ang mga verbs na will be at is ay forms ng verb na be. Ano ba yung verb be? It is a verb used to tell something about a person, a place, or a thing. Ginagamit upang magbanggit ng anumang tungkol sa isang tao, lugar, o bagay. Halimbawa, Ana. Anong masasabi kay Ana? O anong masasabi tungkol kay Ana? Ana will be the leader of our group. Ana will be the leader of our group. Leader si Ana. Another example. Eric. Eric is in our group too. Anong masasabi tungkol kay Eric? In our group. Kasama sa pangkat o kasama sa grupo. The verb be has different forms to show the tense and the number. Maaring am, is, are, was, where. Nagpapakita ito ng tense, kung present, pangkasalukuyan, o past, pang nagdaan. Ang number naman ay tumutukoy kung singular or plural. Singular kung isahan, plural kung maramihan. Ang present singular ng B ay am, is. Ang plural naman nito ay are. Ang past singular ay was. Ang past plural, where. Isa-isahin natin. Present singular, am. It is used with the subject pronoun I. Halimbawa, I am in grade 3. I, yun yung subject pronoun, Kaya ginagamitan ng am. Next. I am watching TV. Ang subject pronoun ay ay ginagamitan ng am. Kasama ng main verb, watching. Am watching. I am watching TV. Next. Present singular, is. It is used with a singular noun. Kapag ang subject ay singular. Halimbawa, Eric is in our group. Eric, yun yung subject, noun, tumutukoy sa isang tao. Singular noun, kaya ang kailang gamitin na B form ay singular, is. Another example, The box is heavy. Box, Singular, kaya ginamitan ng singular, is. Ang present singular na is ay ginagamit din with subject pronouns he, she, and it. He is cooking spaghetti. He ay singular, subject pronoun. Kaya gumagamit ng is. Next. She is my classmate. Ginagamitan ng present singular na is. Next. It is not here. Subject pronoun it. Ginagamitan ng singular verb na is. Next. Present plural. Are. 
it is used with the plural noun. Example, the boxes are full of books. Boxes, plural noun. Kaya ang gamit ay plural verb. Plural form ng be. Another example, the children are playing outside. Children, plural noun, kaya ginagamitan ng plural verb, are playing. Ang be form na are ay ginagamit sa subject pronouns you, we, o kaya naman they. Example, you are Mark's classmate, aren't you? You, subject pronoun, kaya ginagamitan ng plural na be form. We are waiting for you. We ay subject pronoun, plural, kaya ginagamitan ng plural be form. Are, are waiting. They are preparing for the party. Plural, subject pronoun. Kaya plural din ang verb. Next. Past singular, was. It is used with a singular noun. Past singular, ibig sabihin, pang nagdaan. Jake was here yesterday. Jake, singular noun, singular subject. Was, dahil may salitang yesterday. Ang yesterday ay tumutukoy sa nakalipas, kaya ang ginamit ay was, past singular. Next, the phone was on the table when I left the room. Phone, singular, kaya ginamitan ng singular na verb. Was. Past singular na was ay ginagamit din sa subject pronoun na I, he, she, and it. Example, I was sleeping when she called on the phone. Was sleeping. Another example, she was my classmate last year. She, singular subject pronoun, kaya ginamitan ng singular form ng verb na be, was. Past singular dahil ang last year ay tumutukoy sa nakaraan. Past plural, where. It is used with a plural noun. Example. My friends were here last Sunday. Friends ay plural. Kaya ginamitan ng plural verb. Where. Past tense dahil may phrase na last Sunday. Last Sunday tumutukoy sa pang nagdaan o nakaraan. Past plural where is also used with the subject pronouns you, we, and they. Example, They were not at home when we visited them. They, plural subject, ay ginamitan ng plural form, where. Practice. Choose the correct form of the verb be. Let's answer. 
The bag is on the table. Ang subject, bag, singular. There are bottles under the sink. Bottles, plural. Plural yung subject na bottles, kaya are. Next, Eric and Mark are working on a project. Are. Ang subject ay Eric and Mark. Pinagsamang Eric at Mark gamit ang salitang and. Kaya naging plural. Number four, I am tired and hungry. Next, my cousin is making cakes and pastries. Cousin ang subject, singular. Kaya ginamitan ng is. She and her friend are selling them online. Plural, are, dahil ang subject ay plural. Pinagsamang she at her friend. Gamit ang salitang and. Her friend was here yesterday. Was ang ginamit as a singular subject, friend. At may salitang yesterday. Next, were they here last week? Ang subject ay salitang day, plural. Kaya plural din yung verb. At past tense dahil nakalagay last week. Next, I was late this morning. Singular at past tense dahil sa phrase na this morning. Kaninang umaga. This morning. I was late this morning. Anong dapat andaan? Verb B has different forms to show the tense and the number. Maaring am, is, are, was, where. Tense kung present, pangkasalukuyan, o past, pang nagdaan. Number naman ay tumutukoy kung singular or plural. Ang present singular, am, is. Ang present plural, are. Kapag past tense naman, ang past singular, was, at ang past plural, where. Kung okay sa iyo ang mga lesson videos tulad nito, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod na videos.